live. We're there for you. ABC4 News at 10 starts now. Welcome to ABC4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here tonight. Dozens of people coming together to support each other after losing their children. The Christmas Box Angel Vigil giving parents a moment to grieve and remember their kids. ABC4's Courtney Johns joining us live from Salt Lake City Cemetery with more on what this night is all about. Courtney. Emily, inside this cemetery is a beautiful angel, and at the feet of the angel are dozens of roses left behind by parents this evening in honor of their children. You do feel kind of alone because there's, n there's not that many people who know exactly how you feel, and um, it just feels supportive, and it feels... Um, I definitely feel Eli's light and feel the light of the people around me. Lisa Mitchell lost her son Eli in April to a drunk driver who left the scene shortly after hitting the 13 year old. She says she still manages to have a relationship with Eli, writing to him a few times a week, and she says she is so grateful to still have that connection. Today she spoke during the Christmas box angel vigil. Now angel representative Lisa Johnson says many families refer to this statue as an angel of hope. I think for a lot of people, a cemetery doesn't offer the kind of hope that this angel statue does. You remember leaving your child behind in a grave, and here, by the face of the angel, you're reminded to look up and reach out, just like her arms are reached out to all of us. Christmas Box Angel has been doing this for 28 years, and they have over 170 statues around the world. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.